We're here today at the European Parliament to hand a petition of over 130,000 signatures to the European Commission asking for an end to the long distance transport of horses for slaughter in Europe. This is important because we need to actually get across to the European Commission the strength of public feeling, the fact that action is needed now and that we need to tackle the issue of journey times and space allowance. This hasn't been looked at since 1995. The scientific information that's been collected over the last few years and also the, the observational data that's been collected by World Horse Welfare provides clear evidence that there is very poor welfare of horses being transported long distance and so it's vital that the awareness of this is raised and that uh, new legislation is brought in and also that the existing legislation is enforced to try and improve welfare of these animals where the, the suffering is, is actually tremendous. When we examine the horses, either before they're loading on the lorry or afterwards, we find that a lot of them are suffering from dehydration. A lot of them have got leg injuries and rub injuries. Because the vehicles are not suitable for the range of horses that are being transported, then we get injuries from the partitions, we get horses that go down and can't stand up again, and so by the time they arrive at the site of slaughter, they're dehydrated and they're in very poor condition and mentally very, very subdued. It's totally incomprehensible why we are inflicting so much pain and suffering on so many horses every single day of the year when we believe there is a totally solvable solution to this. There are regulated abattoirs throughout Eastern Europe. All of these horses which are coming out of Eastern Europe and being transported down to Italy could be slaughtered at source and that meat exported on, um, in cold refrigerated lorries. Um, I'm here in um, the EU Parliament today to support the handing over of the 130,000 signatures to the EU Commissioner and to obviously pressurise and gain more, gain more support for the campaign that is so worthwhile. I feel absolutely beside myself to be here. To think that I could possibly be a part of something that might help stop the horses from suffering is just amazing to me. It means so much to be here and hopefully that it did make a difference. Well lately, because I know it's very important that as many MEPs get involved in this campaign as possible, I've actually been writing to all my local MEPs in the South West and very encouragingly they have all written back and said that they're supporting the campaign which is terrific and quite a few of them are going to be at the reception tonight when the petition is presented to the European Parliament. So that's really worthwhile writing. I got involved last year really because a lot of the constituents in my constituency in the West Midlands got a hold of me and said they were concerned about the documentary they'd seen and could I raise it at European level. Uh, so I put on a reception last year, I put forward a declaration, we got 103 signatures and now I'm putting forward another declaration and of course hosting the reception this year as well. Well, as with all campaigns that are trying to achieve change, uh, I think that if individuals can write to MEPs, can sign petitions, can write to the European Commission, uh, then it is possible to make a difference. Then I'm sure it will help to bolster the case for making sure that something is done about one of the current scandals in animal welfare terms, that is the uh, ridiculously long transport journeys that are inflicted upon horses uh, when it's entirely avoidable. I'm a newly elected MEP back in June and I represent the southwest of England. I live in Gloucestershire. You know, it, it's, it's an absolutely core issue for me. Um, I don't believe in the unnecessary suffering of animals. Well, who does? But I don't think we should be turning a blind eye to it. I think it's very important that we raise the issue with the public because I think it's an issue that everybody, everybody will be on board with. And what we really need, and it's a subject very close to my heart politically as well as emotionally and personally, is we need to make sure it's not just horse lovers in Britain who are concerned about this, it's across Europe and that the regulations are actually carried through. Animal welfare is an important thing and horse transportation in particular where some of the horses are, are treated abominably. They're, uh, they're in, packed in like sardines into lorries, they're in sometimes over 40 degrees heat. Now the constituents really have to keep up the pressure.
We need people to get involved and show their support, um, either by sending a postcard off to the President of the European Commission or by visiting our website www.worldhorsewelfare.org and signing up as an active campaigner.